Hi everyone, it's David from Renmin University of China School of Economics. Uh, today I'm going to share my uh, life in Minnan University and especially in Beijing uh, with you guys. And this video will unfold my experience in three parts, uh, which is uh, campus life, uh, intercollege association, and my internship in state-owned companies. Well, about the first part, um, let's first talk about our understanding of what college life is. The image of it has been pink, painted pink and rosy with the universal promise of a relatively less stressful period of time. The belief that as long as one enters high tier college, one's life is secured for the degree could get you a uh, above median salary job. But here's the fact, the first thing I receive second to my admission paper in Rome University is my program design. And I know from the first sight that college isn't quite like my initial thought. We have to acquire 160 credits to graduate. When I spent my first week in my university, parties, extracurricular activities were not seen on the tree. My roommates buried their faces in books and eventually received soaring GPA that everyone envies for the first time, while I endured a prolonged phase of anxiety for my quite uh, unsatisfactory scores. Um, in a tier 1 university, every, everybody knows that the best way to you know, excel the majority is to obtain master degree which is the reason for their tough way of life, if not a setting. Therefore, in their belief, university is just another four years of high school. Even for those who don't have an ambition, they will be forced to study under the, the competition atmosphere or gradually convert to this religion. The first thing that haunted my mind is the conflict between this suffocating external factor and my uh, understanding of campus life. When I opened my heart to other Hong Kong and Macau students in my university, I discovered that this might be a, a, a common problem uh, amongst us. But I don't buy the fact that, I don't buy the theory that uh, we Hong Kong people are academically poorer than mainland people. We receive differentiated education and form distinct way of life since childhood. We will not confine ourselves merely to study. Uh, so uh, we have to take care of our mental state and find a way out. Um, for me, a uh, student association is my vent. And then we come to the second part, the life about my uh, inter-college association. Well, the reason why I chose the inter-college association is that uh, the ones in school still varies. Uh, many lure students to apply with additional scores, which will be taken into account uh, for an unconditional master offer. I've been in such student club for a year, and basically they will deem you as a free labor to exploit and you will basically learn nothing. Uh, however, I was lucky enough to, to encounter the one that led me to where I am right now. Uh, the association called uh, Hong Kong Student Association of Beijing Higher Institute, in abbreviation HKSABJ, or in Cantonese, Ging Gong Lu. Um, it's a non governmental organization registered in Hong Kong. Uh, for your information, um, as mentioned in another video, Hong Kong students in mainland is highly valued by the government and as a collective, uh, our association gains uh, attention and support from departments to entrepreneurs and even media. Making the most out of this blessing, it aims at serving the, the students to help them accommodate to Beijing to have a close and objective look at the status quo of our country and <clears throat> to provide uh, opportunities like internship to boost their career. It works, its work uh, concerns uh, communicating with political officials, uh, people's political committee members and the like. 
So I see that this is a rare platform uh, where I get to steal myself and hone some skills. Uh, and most of all, it was his uh, altruistic dedication that finally moved me. So um, this organization consists fully of students and it has five sectors which is uh, which are planning, uh, communication, publicity, um, secretary, and visual. Uh, me, I am currently serve as, I currently serve as the minister of planning sector. Uh, specifically, we organize an orientation camp, uh, hold debates, and we discuss what's going on in Hong Kong and in our, and in our motherland. Uh, we pay visit to uh, various departments, uh, companies, etc. Now, um, just a month ago, uh, our old camp gathered 122 Hong Kong freshmen in Beijing. We painted 10 canvases, each of which depicts an uh, essential event of respective decades. We DIY mooncades and play detective game fully designed by ourselves. And me as one of the planner and men in charge, carrying out the plan and witnessing students having a good time during their first week in Beijing brought me an affable pride and sense of achievement. Their smile and happiness are the source of my fulfillment and joy. And what's more, just uh, a few weeks ago, just uh, two weeks ago, and we hold a conference about the, you know, uh, the policy addr address uh, of this year. And we found five students from different majors to share their own understanding about five different parts, uh, which uh, includes uh, art, includes one system, one country, two system, and the, the electing system and the like. Um, after uh, you know serving in this association, I think that a lucky acquaintance with with or, or, or you can say reaching a resourceful platform could really change my life, could your life, everybody's life. Because I always believe that you can't blame people for not having a dream because they are lack of resources and context. So when you have a opportunity or, or you are that lucky enough to reach such a resourceful platform, you will feel like your dream has been backed up by, the, by a group of people that has the same dream. So you will have more drive and, 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 and your dream will become uh, solid and it would not be changed uh, easily as it used to be. <laughs> so um, that's the, the, the mostly second part of my inter-college um, association life. Well, so let's go into the third part, uh, the experience of working in a state-owned company. Um, I have uh, taken two internships in two separate uh, state-owned companies. The first one being uh, Rongshi International Holding Company, uh, which is an uh, affiliate to a, a giant conglomerate called uh, state, uh, state Development and Investment Company. And the one that I'm taking right now is uh, at uh, China Merchant Bank, Beijing branch. Uh, as important as others, uh, internship uh, is deemed as a keyhole into which you can pick uh, the reality uh, or through which you can improve yourself. Um, but honestly speaking, it was neither much inspirational nor anything surprising. The working environment is great, the dress code is strict, and basically there's nothing else. But you can see the cult, the mainland culture from a interesting point, which is they will always keep some some liquid spirit and find cigarette bars in in the office in case of some business treating. Well, well, they assigned me to translate some classified uh, agreements due to the stereotype that Hong Kong students have a good command of English, and this is not what I suggest 
they, they are thinking, but what they told me in my face. And some of the time, I will I will、uh, deal with data and produce some basic data summary.、Um, so, if you are not working in a sector specifically set for research <coughs> or in a、uh, somehow small company in terms of scale, the workload is is easier because you won't get to wield what you learn in on class here. Uh, not until you are a master or doctor.、Um, so, with some disappointment, I once again realize how cruel the competition is and how ironic that one might have to obtain master or to do a batch to do a, to up one might have to attain a master degree to do a bachelor's working. Yeah. So, however. Many dream positions in state-owned company are exclusively open to Hong Kong students. You don't have to be as excel-、uh, excellent as the mainland students to get the same thing. So, in the end, I would still recommend you guys to come over to the mainland and, and, and see for yourself how it's like about our mother country and. There is one more thing I have to stress, which is, a study is definitely not not the the everything of our life, which is obvious, and it might be the core thing. But you have to, you know, try some other things to enrich yourself, I guess. So I still re- recommend you guys to come over to mainland and pick a university to obtain whatever degree you might be interested in. Other point is、uh, to have a close and objective look at the as to the school of a country. So after you gain the insight about the mainland, I hope that you guys can come back to Hong Kong and contribute to the society. Because I think this is the end goal of why we, in the first place,、uh, go to mainland to study, because we have w- witnessed the rapid growth of of mainland, and at the same time, the stalled, the slowed economy of Hong Kong. So, after all, I'm happy to study in mainland, and if this ever intrigues you. You can come to mainland and let's be friends. And if you have more questions and problems、uh, that this、uh, video is not able to answer, you can comment below, and maybe I will go to YouTube and you know answer you guys' questions. So thank you guys, and here's David from Renmin University of China. Come over.